What is going on guys, Bisectatron here, bringing you guys today's video. We are recapping some of the top attacks from ESL in our clan thus far. Still alive after day one, I know a lot of top clans, as it always seems to be, have, uh, have gone out early if you guys have been following ESL a lot. A lot of great clans and some underdogs still in it. Um, I know there's been other YouTubers and Twitch streamers uh, covering the wars. I'm not doing a whole lot for it because I'm busy participating in it. Um, but let's recap. We've had three wars today. Gonna have hopefully three more tomorrow, assuming we can get all victories. But let's recap some of the top attacks. We're seeing a lot of cool stuff at Town Hall 12 right now. Um, and yeah, it's, it's different than last month, I think, in that uh, we're seeing less air and more P.E.K.K.A.s, bowlers, stuff like that. And that was kind of how it was leaning in the uh, qualifier in Poland with uh, the top clans from last month. We already st started to see that happen in those attacks. Um, but let's just take a look at some of these. We got Godspeed going in here. Uh, this was our second war of the day. And our first war was kind of against a clan. I think they didn't know how to set their bases properly because they're... Uh, friendly ch challenge or friendly war bases didn't have eagles. It was really weird. Um, but this this was a little bit more of a legit clan. Uh, they had some better bases, and it made for some really nice attacks to watch. Uh, big fan of dragons still. I think that um, people are really switching heavy on ground. But I think dragons, as was shown today, still can work really well. And I love that giant or two giants tanking the wizard tower, um, avoiding having to use a free spell, and the bats come through. Just destroy the entire top, top part of this base here. Great, great value from the bats. Um, so dragons will continue to move through. Go ahead and go times two here. The single inferno is going to be a bit of a nuisance, but there's enough firepower to push through here, get the remaining buildings taken out, and what he hasn't even deployed his queen. That is pretty cool. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm, I'm a big fan of dragons. I think especially if you use your heroes correctly, they can really complement each other well and at least get very high percentage two stars, um, which is almost as important as three starring in a lot of wars um, so let's hop over to one other attack here this one was a very nice um, hog attack which you know we saw uh, the update level nine hogs we go here we go um, right here I guess um, underestimated the amount of damage <laughs> look at all those seeking air mines jeez uh, this guy was totally selling out to defending anything from the top of the base but there's not a whole lot you can do against a solid kill squad like this you got the wall wrecker the golem bowlers heroes nice freeze on the single take the damage off the golem and everything's just going to push right in here real nice um, setting up a nice back end hog uh, deployment and i believe this guy did not put that many spring traps at the bottom as you will see um, really sold out with the traps up top, but that's not the best when hogs are um, an option at Town Hall 12. So anyway, everything pushes through. Still sitting on both of the King Queen abilities. Um, nice bounces onto that bomb tower, and then here come the hogs, just raining in. Um, King's gonna, I think, grab the eagle. If not him, the queen. Okay, yeah, the eagle goes down to the king more or less. Queen is still up, helping with some of these defenses, making the hog pathing a little bit easier. So just just how you want to see a hog attack, basically. And then a few nice back-end balloons, which I'm a fan of, uh, because they can sometimes get some extra value and help the hogs out. A few spring traps, as you will see here, but nothing that's going to take out all these hogs that are coming through. Um, just a ton of troops on the base here. There's a Tesla farm on the back end, but um, you'll see, actually, maybe slow it down a little bit, um, especially as they hit this last giant bomb at the very end, and there's a tornado trap, actually, which is kind of funny. Uh, nice loons on the wizard tower. Would have done some significant damage to the hogs, probably, um, if they were sitting in front of it. But you'll see a giant bomb's going to go off, I believe, right there. Doesn't do very much damage to the hogs. I mean, look at how much health they still have after a giant bomb exploding. Um, these are very tanky units right here. So anyway, we'll fast forward. Very nice stuff there, and we'll move on to one more attack to take a look at. A short video, I know. Um, wish I could put out more content, base building stuff. Uh, that's probably going to have to be post-ESL uh, once I have a little more time on my hands. Let's take a look at the most recent war here. Um, here we go. This was a very close war, actually. Um, at the end, 
it came down to my attack uh, needed around 65% two star, um, which is definitely manageable. Was gonna initially try to hit this with like a classic Pekka bowler attack, and I thought, no, what? Let's just bust out the dragons. The air defenses aren't in the best locations, um, and I think with all multi infernos, it can work here. So um, this was the last few minutes. You can see I was taking my time. And one thing that you always want to do is put down some troops to snipe out percentage, especially on the back end, the opposite end from where you enter, because these are buildings that you need to get to get that extra percentage. And if the eagle is still up for whatever reason, um, it's not as good to do it at the end of the attack. Plus, you might not have enough time. Uh, so snipe stuff at the beginning, no point not to. Um, just get it down quickly. In this case, I wasn't too worried about time um, because I was only going for a high percentage two star. I wasn't actually, I didn't have to triple this base. Um, so anyway, the E Dragon gets to get some great value here. Um, it's getting many, many defenses with all these bounces here. And then Slammer up at 12 to kind of cut that funnel. I'm a big fan of if you can use the Slammer as a funneling unit, if those defenses kind of the form a little uh, gap when you take it out to push everything into the base and that's the case here as that wizard tower goes down um, loons come out won't quite get that air defense but everything pushes through nice uh, freeze value didn't get the eagle that time I was trying to freeze the eagle and the sweeper this time I got it um, and then of course we use the warden over the town hall poison for the witch um, I've seen attacks where the dragons just get caught up on witches and small CC troops if they're in the CC, so that's a nice thing to have is to um, bring a poison on some of these attacks if you have the spell space. If you don't have to take a risk or anything, make sure the dragons don't get stuck in the middle of the base forever. Um, but anyway, this one comes down close to the end here. Uh, freeze on the back end air defense archer tower, and um, really what makes these attacks work out is getting the value from the queen and the king, but the queen specifically. Um, it, it, it worked out just nicely that you know the dragons are tanking But the queen is doing a lot of damage and keeping everything inside the base She comes all the way around here, and she's actually gonna be what gets the three star. This was incredibly close I probably should have dropped the archers minions a little earlier to try to tank better But uh, the queen will clutch it on her own fortunately she can three shot that maxed out archer tower still so anyway that will do it for this video um, thanks for checking in on the clan and um, hopefully have some more content to show you tomorrow and hopefully um, the next day after that. Um, we'll do our best to keep grinding through. But that's it for today's video and I will see you guys next time. Bisectatron out.